Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's who I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's what things happen, words, many, fast things. I don't know anymore. It's fine. I, you see, you, sometimes you'd think I would have something for at the end of all of that, and I, I, I stopped. I... I don't anymore. Anyway, if you're joining us for the first time, yes, my name is Insanian, and yes, I am a comedy musician. I react to comedy music from the perspective of somebody who does comedy music themselves. What that means to you is that I'm going to pause the video, kind of often actually, mostly so that I'm not talking over the jokes in the song. These are comedy songs, after all. But sometimes it's also to discuss how the song works with the video, how, how one elevates the other, how the jokes work within the song, sometimes what the jokes mean. Sometimes I have people who who aren't uh, English speakers, and sometimes they appreciate me dissecting sometimes idioms or the, how the words work out, and sometimes I'm just gonna laugh my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're gonna get, but I think it's a good time either way. This week, we are reacting to Hiding From Your Wife the Southern Way by Value Select. Uh, if you do enjoy these type of videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the uh, all the things, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this. Uh, I haven't reacted to a Value Select song in a hot minute. Uh, I, I know that they've been putting out uh, a lot of shorts. Sometimes the shorts are based on some of their older songs. Very quick songs, too, like 30 seconds to a minute. So there's not been a lot to react to. But I did uh, back Value Select's album on Kickstarter. Uh, and this has a bunch of his hits, like uh, uh, Fish Hunt, uh, Hit Me With Your Car, Jeans at the Beach, stuff like that. I got to see... Value Select live before I had really heard much of anything of, of his work, and uh, his stage show really, really impressed me, does a lot of really, really cool stuff, and also I got to see Jazz Emu open for him, so two for one, that was a great show. Um, picked up a CD at that show too, that was kind of a mixtape of a bunch of the short songs, and uh, yeah, so now this is a new song, Hiding From Your Wife, The Southern Way. This was apparently part of a live stream that he did, and has been snipped out, or, you know, he played it during the live stream, and now it's separate from the stream itself, too, because the stream and this video both had the same thumbnail. So, <laughs> I only assume that was part of the live stream, because I didn't actually catch it. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a, one of the longer videos, because it's more than a minute, so that means I can react to it. Sometimes if it's only a minute or a little over a minute, sometimes I have trouble uh, feeling like I have much to talk about, the only exception being the Tenacious D video game so song, because uh, <laughs> that's a minute and 30, and I turned it into a 19-minute reaction, because I know a lot about video games, and I like pointing stuff out. But anyway, clearly I like to talk. If you have a problem with that, see the song Shut Up Ian, available now, streaming everywhere. Anyway, let's dive in. Buck Rivers, The American Way, Southern Stud. Nobody likes, on the, on the label, nobody likes country records. So the artist is Buck Rivers, which is value select. Playing everybody, clearly, the bassist, the drummer. The song is The American Way. The album is titled Southern Stud. That's the way they used to do these uh, little things if it were on MTV, for example. And the record label would be the last thing. Nobody likes country records. Sometimes you would just have the director name there instead. But, you know... Value select doing things a little different to further a joke, as it were. <laughs> Don't get me confused. No way to like hanging with dudes, but at the end of the day, it's not gay. <laughs> Has to assure you, completely heterosexual. Because. Uh, there's always that fear that somebody might think I'm gay. Whatever. Uh, but obviously, this is all done in jest. Many songs of his kind of like ride the wave of like, oh yeah, you know, it's it's obviously a joke. Um, I love the amount of green screen that Max does because it's just always him playing every part and. 
just like the 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 rack focus that happened of him walking with the the cowboy hat in the opening and then racking into a bar but the background of the bar is completely out of focus so it's so that it focuses on him as he was walking into the shot it's an amazing thing you do with green screen it's really good it's quality stuff there's a simple kind of magic when the boys get together to fish and hike and wrestle and hunt this kind of life <laughs> Like, it's it's so, like, stereotypically country song styled in, like, here, let's list things. We have all these things that we enjoy. Like, a lot of country songs seem to do that. I talked about that with the, the uh, uh, Auntie Donna song, Hit and Run. Uh, kind of, it kind of lists a lot of things, too. Um, so, it's a, it's a kind of stereotype for... for or or a or an ear notice that you will for good lord I cannot talk. It's something you notice a lot in country song. Wow, why was I words too many? To fish and hike and wrestle and hunt this kind of life. It's about hiding from your wife. It's about hiding from your kids. <laughs> Going hunting down so the tent tag along with no chance to let him join. <laughs> That's great. So yeah, like, this kind of life is an excuse to hide from your wife. Hence why the video is called Hiding From Your Wife The Southern Way. Uh, that is so funny. Also, I love that the children are clearly like stock photos and they're not moving. It's just the stock photo that is spinning or bouncing across the stage. The stock photos are just perpendicular or horizontal now uh, in the bed with Value Select as the wife, obviously, uh, just laying next to her, uh, not eyes closed, not out of the yay pose, just really, really funny. Like, yeah, <laughs> just kids hanging from different places, do doing all these things that, like, they'll, for whatever reason, the subtitles didn't say fishing and hunting and, and hiking and all that is done to hide from your wife. When the boys get together to fish and hike and wrestle and hunt. To fish and hike and wrestle and hunt. This kind of life. This kind of life. <laughs> and she's yelling at him about laundry. And then, like, <laughs> just spinning. <laughs> Knowing that she won't get on your back. Here's the thing, uh, can't really green screen a clear bottle too well, half of it disappears. <laughs> get a call from your ball and chain to take a 30 minute break from the poker game. Whoa. And then that's, this is one of those, like, straight up comedy tropes where, like, you know, Stand-up comedians, especially in the 80s and, and somewhat in the 90s, would always be like, you know, yeah, I'm married, uh, I don't like her. But, like, why why is that funny? Why do you get married getting married to somebody you don't like? I love my wife. My wife is awesome. Uh, we just got back from vacation, hence why I'm red and still peeling. Uh, but, no, our marriage has been freaking great. Uh, this is one of those comedy tropes where, like, the joke is the marriage is terrible and you're always hiding from it. That's always, that is a certain type of humor that is funny in certain groups. Uh, not saying it's not funny here. Uh, I'm enjoying it, but it's, uh, it is one of those comedy trope things uh, that, you know, is, is, to me, is funnier when done in song. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, mainly because I guess I love comedy music. Might, that might be it, ENG. Figure that one out. All right. And that goes right back to uh, changing what my perception of it was. I love my family. I just need my time away from them. I need to hide from them because they're always around and I need my me time. Everybody can kind of understand that to a certain point. Uh, I, I retract my previous statement about it being a trope. All right. Sometimes I know you take my rifle and leave my bits. Yeah, you know we need those guys hide from my wife. Bro,
bravo on the singing, Max. Good stuff. I'm sorry, what was that Chiron on the news channel? America bad, says stupid liberal. Country music has has a, uh, a tendency to occasionally be a little right-leaning. Uh, so uh, having, having that be on the screen in a country song is inherently funny. Uh, it's good stuff. Every goddamn day, all of those liberal guys, they want to take away all the rights that we have in the USA. They say it's toxic. They don't <laughs> Just a kid spinning behind him for no reason. <laughs> National requisition of badass firearms. We're not taking the guns away. We're just making it harder for people to get them so they're not shooting up schools. That's the problem. Why are why 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 every time there's a mass shooting, do we not do something about the gun laws? They don't. They have very strict gun laws in other countries, and they don't have shootings like this. And everybody's response to that is, "Oh, they'll use knives." But there won't be as many people dead. We want to like not have dead people. Do you not see that that's the problem? Not to get on a soapbox here. This is a comedy song, but still, yes. Anyway. All the rights that we have in the USA They say it's toxic They don't understand Why we smoke and drink and shoot guns <laughs> <laughs> We don't understand why we smoke and drink and shoot guns Cool Oh, that's very funny They say it's toxic They don't understand Why we smoke and drink and shoot guns Also, like, smoking was Orson Welles Drinking is Dean Martin And shooting is John Wayne and Kirk Douglas Old school movie stars. It's clear you liberal guys never had no wives. Here's why, because it's kind of loud. It's about hiding from your wives. <laughs> it's about hiding from your kids. The founding fathers knew we need shit to do that they wouldn't take interest in. <laughs> <laughs> shit to do that they wouldn't take interest in. I, that's not true. We know there are, uh, uh, especially some conservative women who like shooting guns. Uh, there's that whole thing about, you know, where this is right after Pride Month, how they're talking about how drag queens are, are grooming children, which is not true, and how homosexuals are grooming children, which is not true. And yet, these are coming from the same people who have family photographs at Christmas time where everyone in the family, even the children who are underaged, holding rifles and assault weapons in a, in a Christmas card. That's grooming. That having having a, a a pack celebration for for voting where you have scantily clad women and getting your children to go up and pose in a picture next to them, that's grooming. Again, soapbox is happening. Sorry. Um, amendment: All men shall have the right to own a gun for the sole purpose of scaring the hose as to achieve some quality bro time. Parentheses: No girls allowed. Hilarious. Again, this is poking fun at that side, not siding with that side. Pointing out the ridiculousness, that's what comedy does. And also, like, he was wearing a come-and-go hat before. That's the name of an actual gas station in America. Why? Nobody knows. <laughs> he's got, he's got a, 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 a handgun that is not period accurate for this section, but of course not. That's what comedy is. It's, you know, you, you, the anachronisms are inherently funny if they're done on purpose. Good food place. Bad food place. Yeah, never, oh no, we can never decide on where to go to eat. It's stereotypes. It's, it's, it's the tropes. And yet pointing out the tropes is what makes it funny in itself because I'm explaining comedy a little too much today. But the doorman's green when you understand this room. And a liberal guy, we may have our differences. <laughs> and liberal guy, we may have our differences. There's but on this, we can't agree. If we want in our life, we die for a man, a piece of privacy. We have people that we would die for if it meant a piece of privacy. <laughs> that's, that's harsh. <laughs>
the liberal guy gets shot when there's an army running behind them. Uh, yeah. It's the American way. Hide from our wives, it's the American way. Perfect! Excellent stuff. Wow. And, uh, a lot of Patreon supporters. Uh, <laughs> just sketches still going with green screen. I love the attention to it's clearly a green screen to door. It's not there, but I'll still pretend like I'm turning the knob. Genius stuff. Bravo. The Renner Sons. New video every Friday. Max Renner is Value Select's real name. Uh, that's why it's called the Renner Sons. Value Select's Verticals, aka the video is shot vertically on a cell phone. Uh, Mirth Pop Volume 1, there's a, a, a uh, playlist there. Well, actually, all in one video, it seems. And then the greatest YouTube collab in the history of the world. I did not see that one before. I'll have to check that one out at some point. Uh, but yeah, it's more of that with people on the Patreon. Hope you enjoyed this. That was really funny. It was very it was very pointing out the tropes to make fun of the tropes um, that you see you used to hear in comedy all the time and stuff that you were used to be familiar with and kind of turning it on its head by poking fun at it, by acknowledging it. Um, really dig that kind of stuff. I love self-aware humor like that. So hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon like these lovely folks over here do. You get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, get your name in these credits, and all sorts of other cool stuff like that. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Goodbye to Sci-Fi Channel, getting wasted with my friends. Energy.